Hunters in the paddock in my piece. A push a pee. <laughs> Cop no hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff's Rap. Check for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. Hey, homebodies, welcome back to another vlog. We are officially prepping for 75 hard. I look tired and it's because I am tired. I'm trying to get myself on a sleep schedule because usually all my moms out there, my moms get it. So you know when you put your child to sleep and that's the only time you have like a moment of silence so you try to stay up just a little bit longer. So when I put Zyla down to sleep, I stay up like two or three hours. Just doing whatever, you know, relaxing, enjoying silence. Trying to get myself on a sleep schedule to where when she goes to sleep, I go to sleep so that I can be well rested and I can wake up at 5 a.m. like I really want to, you know? I'm about to detox. I'm about to drink me some tea that helps with my digestive. Every time I know I'm about to lock in with myself and I know that I am about to start like a diet or a challenge or just anything, I try to detox. To me, it feels like a fresh start. So either I'll drink like a lot of water and try to clean myself out that way, or I will drink like some tea. About to lock in, y'all. I'm super excited to share this journey with you guys. I'm gonna try to upload as much as possible just because I really do want to come back to these vlogs and just be blown away with how dedicated, I was consistent, I was disciplined, and just see how far I've come. So I'm going to try to vlog literally everything and i hope you guys like the vlogs this shit was all i knew you and me only i did it all for you still you were lonely we could have worked it all but I guess things change It's funny how someone else's success brings pain When you're no longer involved That person has it all And you just stuck standing there But I'm gonna need you to say something, baby Say something, baby Say something, baby Say something I'm gonna need you to say something, baby I'm gonna need you to say something, baby I am the topic of conversation This is celebration Let's toast to the fact that I moved out my mama baby Hey y'all, so it is a new day. I have to run a couple errands today. I got my day started a little too late, but it's okay. It's about to be one o'clock in the afternoon. It was just one of those mornings where it's just like really slow for me and Zyla. I'm not even gonna say here a lot of y'all. I was procrastinating big. I'm trying to get it together, okay? I'm trying to get my life together, y'all. I'm about to do a quick little makeup look and um not even a makeup look y'all i'm about to just do my eyebrows and concealer just so that i can look you know awake i wanted to go to burlington or or tj maxx one of those where i can get me meal prepping bowls you guys know when people do 75 hard they have to like track their days so i'm going to make me like a little board where i can pull off the days as i am going and then we're gonna go i wouldn't say grocery shopping i'm just gonna grab the things that i want to meal prep for the week and that is what is on my to-do list for today so i already detoxed which was one of my main things that i want to do before i started this challenge i detox i've been drinking a lot of water so i feel really good it's so crazy how just incorporating more water into your diet can make you feel crazy just upping my water intake, I've been trying to like drink more water and I feel I feel better already. Cheapest right there with me, bottle poppin', livin' that life, bitchin' just 
can understand my lifestyle And that I ain't like that in life Every in the world, got your diamonds, got your pearls But I can't help it if change the lane Be attracting all the girls uh -huh. Baby, I'm a superstar and that come with it You got a good on your side, you better run with it Even though I'm on the road doing shows I made time for me and her relationship to grow Girl, They tell me to trust the woman in this industry But she not any woman, more like a sacred friend to me uh -huh. Cause when I'm out of town, I always think of all this Might conversate with some chicks, but no one from above her phone I thought I was your man, guess you ain't understand And now I'm sitting here looking crazy like that About this phone number she found me Give me time to put my back down She straight up clapped Before we end up fighting, let me leave I'm exhausted and this her I don't need, I don't need Now the fellas riding and drink Glad she going my two way But I need some time for think time Yeah, I wanna go back But some saying no Let me give her some space And the next day I might call What should I do? Look, let me ask y'all Should I stand tall? We made it to Burlington's. Girl. It's like everything is sold out. They have these little kitchen containers. It's sold out. I really wanted glass containers. We use these, but for me, I get bored of these little plastic containers and like washing them that I end up throwing them away. Really came in here to look for like glass containers, but I don't. Completely empty. We're by a Ross and a TJ Maxx. So I probably go to TJ Maxx next to see if they have any glass containers. Really nothing in Burlington's right now, unfortunately. currently at TJ Maxx. I got these bowls. They are a two section container. I wanted glass, but I don't see any glass. And to be honest, it's so packed. I guess it's cause it's the weekend. So it's like so packed right now. And my anxiety is through the roof. My anxiety is like, okay. I'm about to just get these. I think these would be good to meal prep in it's okay you know they're only $4.99 so I'm gonna get two containers of these I'm thinking about getting these I don't know what I'll use them for they're so tiny but they're so cute and it's making me want to get them because they're so cheap too they're like $3.99 I'm trying to ask myself like what would I use them for maybe if I cut up like some fruit or something maybe I can use them for like fruit I don't want to buy something that I don't even know if I'm going to use it or not. So I am debating. I don't really know where to put you. Bear with me. I went to TJ Maxx. I got my containers. So I'm happy about that. I went to Burlington's, TJ Maxx, and Ross. Didn't really find anything there. I am such a homebody that... I forget how bad my anxiety is until I go out and it's like so many people and I start to feel like so like overwhelmed and like boxed in and it's like these people are living their life they're shopping they're not worrying about me at all but like I just feel so overwhelmed I be feeling like I need to get out of there like so fast 
<laughs> I can't even enjoy like shopping anymore. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. I know me. And I really want to get a good self-help book that I feel like is going to help me and that I can actually read. But I really do want to get a really good book that I know I'm going to be able to read it and incorporate it in my real life. So yeah, that's the next step on our to-do list. Young girl, no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Yeah. Bentley spread fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Crack up the foreign, I swear. Keep me a stick if they purge. Hey y'all, so it is a new day. Haven't really been vlogging a lot because yesterday was my sister's birthday and we was having a little get together. So we were there majority of the day so I didn't really get a lot of stuff done. Finally finished my board. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's gonna get the job done, okay? Right now it's like seven at night. So I'm actually about to meal prep for the week. The only thing that I'm missing is my self-help book. Whenever I get the time to go to Barnes & Noble and browse and give me a book that I actually like, then I'm gonna do that. But right now, I already have a book that I'm reading, so I'm just gonna just read that book. So the longer that I wait, the longer that the challenge is gonna take. And I don't wanna go into the new year on 75 hard, if that makes sense, it should. Just decided that instead of trying to make sure I have everything together and perfect to just get up and get it done. Yesterday, I stepped on the scale and I gained weight. And this is just me being transparent. You guys know I try to be as transparent in my vlogs as possible. And um, I wasn't surprised because I feel like when you gain weight, you can feel it. Like you can feel it not just in like your energy, but like you can physically feel it. And I could physically feel that I had gained weight. Like I can physically feel it when I, when I run, when I move, like I can feel it. But it really did motivate me to get back on track and lose it. I'm not gonna share my weight with you guys until the end of this challenge. So once we hit 75 days, I'll be able to sit down and go over everything with you guys. Usually I'll step on the scale and if I seen I gained weight, I'll be like so sad and depressed. But this time I was like, yeah, I figured. <laughs> But it's okay, because we're going to drop it, okay? We're going to drop it. If you guys hear Zyla in the back, it's my fault. I gave her a brownie. So, <laughs> she is literally bouncing off the walls, y'all. What I did was I got um, some index cards, and I kind of just wrote the numbers, and I cut them in half. And, yeah, I tic tac them all on this little board, and I have the red, if you guys can see. You guys see the little red Tic Tacs? Those red Tic Tacs is um, when I'm going to check my weight. I'm going to be checking my weight 10 times during this entire challenge. Red Tic Tac, so I know that it's time to check my weight um, on that day. I wrote myself a little motivating little note 
and says, you did that. I know that's right. You did that, girl. Celsius toasted flatbread and this garlic and herb cream cheese y'all 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 trying to snack throughout the day and have like my one meal during dinner time I'm really hyped I'm hyped to start this challenge I'm hyped to vlog everything and share with you guys like I'm just very excited I'm ready to just put 100% into this challenge like I'm super excited if you are interested hit that subscribe button I'm going to end the vlog here I love you guys so much and um, I will see you guys in my next vlog when we start the challenge